You are listening to RudolfSteinerAudio.com. If you are listening to the podcast of this, it is located at RudolfSteiner.Podbean.com. Please consider becoming a patron. As well, there are two publishing houses, SteinerBooks.org in America and RudolfSteinerPress.com in England, who are the sole publishers of Steiner into English and have given me permission to do these recordings. Please consider patronizing them as well. This is a reading of Collected Works number 266, Volume 1 of 3, by Rudolf Steiner, entitled From the Esoteric School, Esoteric Lessons, 1904-1909. This is uh, translated by James H. Hines. These are five individually given so-called main exercises. Main Exercise Manuscript Archive Number 6912-13 I ask you to observe the following for the first weeks. Number one, a morning meditation that consists of the following. Lift up your soul to your higher self. It is less important that you instruct yourself in any theoretical way concerning your higher self. It is much more important that you feel in a very lively way you have a higher nature within yourself. Imagine that your usual self surrounds this higher self as a sheath, that this higher nature is present within the lower self as its seed. If you have centered yourself in such a feeling, then speak to your higher self in a prayerful way the following words, not out loud, but in thought. More radiant than the sun, purer than snow, Finer than the ether is the self, the spirit in my heart, this self I am, I am this self. While you hold this very exactly in your mind, no other thoughts should be allowed to mix in. You should only feel the gaze of your soul directed toward your higher self. You will gradually feel a wonderful strengthening coming from the words of the sentences above. You feel yourself as if lifted out of yourself. Gradually the condition will arise as if the soul received wings. This is the beginning upon which more will be built later. Number two, you should immerse yourself entirely in the first sentence of Title Light on the Path. Before the eyes can see, they must be incapable of tears. Allow no other thought entrance to your soul. You should be completely absorbed in this thought. The meaning must occur like a flash of lightning to everyone, individually. That will certainly happen one day, if you have patience. Total quiet must rule in the soul for several minutes. The soul must be as if blind and deaf toward all external sense impressions and all images from memories. Again, two to three minutes. Number three. Then follows intense devotion to what you revere as the highest divine being. In doing this, what matters is your mood of soul, fervid looking up to and longing for union with this divine being. Section two. In the evening before sleeping, you are to conduct a brief retrospection of what you experienced during the day. What matters is not completeness, but that we stand over and against ourselves judgmentally, as if we were another person. We should learn from ourselves. Life should increasingly become a lesson. We begin remembering what happened in the evening and then move forward toward morning. Gradually you will notice that your dream life assumes a regularity. At first, the spiritual world flows into this dream life. Meditation is the occult key to it. You should acquire a little book and in the morning, very briefly, with just a few words, write down characteristic dreams. In this way you will get practice in retaining what flows to you from the spiritual world. This is the first elementary method 
by means of which you will later break through to spiritual experiences, that is, when they break through into clear day consciousness. Dreams that are only a reminiscence of daily life or are based on bodily conditions, headache, beating of the heart, etc., have value only when they are cast in symbolic forms. For example, when a beating heart appears as a baking oven or an aching brain appears as a vaulted dome with animals crawling within, and so forth. The symbolism alone has value, not the content of the dream. For at first, the form of the symbolism is used by the spiritual world to lead us to the forces of a higher world at all. For this reason, therefore, we must pay close attention to the details of this symbolism. Furthermore, it would be good if you could compare your dreams to the extent that your abilities allow with your experiences of day following. For your dreams will probably assume a somewhat premonitory character in the not too distant future. When this, hap- when this begins to happen, we will discuss further how this matter can be made fruitful for your spiritual life. I ask you now to try it with these indications and to tell me after approximately eight days how things are coming. Next main exercise, Manuscript Archive number 7074. Meditation. Mornings. Number one, Aum. Number two, raising oneself to the higher self using the verse, quote, more radiant than the sun purer than snow, finer than the ether, is the self. The spirit in my heart, this self, I am. I am this self. Number three, contemplative meditation in title light on the path, part A, 14 days, quote, before the eyes, etc., close quote. B, 14 days, quote, before the ear, etc., close quote. C, 14 days, quote, before the voice can speak, etc., close quote. D, 14 days, quote, before the soul can stand, etc., close quote. Number four, intense devotion to the highest ideal worthy of veneration. Evenings, retrospection of the day, Begin with the last experiences and deeds of the evening and proceed to the morning. Next main exercise, manuscript archive number 4401-02. In the morning after awakening, when no other impressions have yet passed through the soul, One directs one's attention away from all sense impressions, from all memories of daily life. One seeks to become entirely free from all cares and worries, etc. If this inner stillness of soul has been achieved, then one should, Part 1, for five minutes, let the following seven lines live in one's soul. Quote, more radiant than the sun, purer than snow finer than the ether is the self. The spirit in my heart, this self I am, I am this self. Part two in the second five minutes, there follows number one, concentration on the point between and somewhat behind the eyebrows while meditating on I am. Number two, Concentration on the inside of the larynx while meditating on it thinks. Number three, concentration on both arms and hands while meditating on she feels. In doing this, the hands can be folded or the right hand can be laid over the left. After a while, one feels how the hands want to separate through their own power. Yet under no circumstances, must one ever bring this about through self-delusion. Number four, concentration on the entire surface of the body while meditating on 
he wills. Number five, concentration on the pit of the stomach while meditating on divine life. Section three, after all that follows, a five-minute devotional immersion of one's own ideal of the divine. In the evening as before, retrospection of the day's events. Main exercise, manuscript archive number 6915 to 6918. The following is to be added to the previous exercise, which I ask you to retain until you hear more from me. It should come directly at the place where he wills streams over the entire surface of the body. From the surface of the body, streams or rays are to be created and drawn toward the heart at the center point. All of this is to be done slowly and with the still calmness of consciousness. During this process, meditate upon the thought, parenthesis from title, Light on the Path, close parenthesis, quote, Seek the Path, close quote. Then, I ask you to rest quietly with all your feeling in your heart while meditating upon, quote, seek the path in inner deepening, close quote. Then the stream is to be directed back again to the surface of the body while meditating upon, quote, seek the path in which you boldly step out of yourself, close quote. A time will soon come when you will perceive the indicated streaming or rays as a real stream of warmth. These exercises prepare the connection of your own personality, microcosmos, to the greater world and its secrets, macrocosmos. Just as the exercises already given are to prepare the awakening of your own individuality. In the future, the human being will live in a much more intimate connection with the lawfulness of the world than at present. And the esoteric pupil anticipates this intimacy in future development. The head with its brain is only a transitional organ in the evolution of human knowing. The organ that will actually be able to see deeply and powerfully into the world has its rudimentary seed in the present-day heart. But please note, in order to become an organ of perception, the heart must still be transformed in manifold ways. But this heart is the source and fount of future stages of humanity. When the heart is the organ of knowledge, knowledge will be warm and intimate as only feelings of love and compassion are today. But these feelings will have to struggle out of the darkness and obtuseness in which they are only groping about today, into bright clarity, which only the subtlest logical thoughts of the head possesses today. The true pupil is preparing him or herself for such things. And this preparation is only proper when pupils are preparing themselves with the indicated attitude in their souls. This attitude is the mother of the perspective that they need. I ask you, please, to bear firmly in mind that we only attain what we should attain in our meditation and concentration exercises if we perform them permeated by our great sublime goals in bright, full clarity. I ask you continually to regard and undertake the exercises in this way. Thus, you place yourself in the community of spirits, who out of their incarnations in the present time are to become the seers and helpers of the future. For the future development of the world, there is nothing better that we can do than to develop ourselves further. However, we must do this, and we will not, for a moment, doubt that we must do it as soon as we have recognized the truth concerning our own being and the connection of this being with the world. However, this knowledge can be acquired only gradually, 
It is a child of the will and patience. Please attempt to bring together the content of the various lessons this winter and the four first sentences of Title Light on the Path, and then, without compulsion, write down your thoughts about them. You will find that these four sentences, number one, before the eyes, number two, before the ear, number three, before the voice can speak, number four, before the soul can stand, contain an unlimited amount, and that the most important theosophical teachings about the world and self-knowledge will gradually appear before your soul intuitively when you live entirely within these sentences. These sentences are not mere sentences, but powers that awaken truth, strength, and life when you devote yourselves to them. Please write to me regularly every four weeks or so, and if something special happens in your spiritual life as often as you want, concerning progress, new ideas won, send me anything you may have written. My responses you will then accordingly pass on. Peace. Main Exercise, Manuscript Archive, number 3052. Mornings. Calm. And this is for five minutes. In pure rays of light shines the divinity of the world. In the pure love of all beings raise the godliness of my soul. I rest in the divinity of the world. I will find myself in the divinity of the world. Growing plants, withering plants. And also for five minutes, growing plants, for five minutes, withering plants. Intense devotion to one's own ideal of the divine. Evenings, intense devotion. Retrospection of the previous day's experiences in pictures, from the present backward to the day's beginning. Auxiliary exercise. Number one, concentration of thoughts. Number two, initiative in action. Number three, composure in pleasure and suffering. Number four, positivity, parenthesis, legend of Christ, close parenthesis. Number five, freedom from bias, church tower. Number six, repetition of the five exercises. And that is the end of part two.